Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's video. I've just been to Home Bargain, so I thought I would really quickly show you what I picked up. Now, I'm really struggling um, because I wanna get like a wooden Easter crate for my two children for like their Easter baskets. Last year I gave them um, just like an actual basket that they could use for storage of toys and things like that after, which I was gonna do this year, but I thought, I can't keep doing that every year because obviously there's only so many baskets we need and I'd seen on somebody's Instagram story that they got this really nice like whitewash effect crate and it had a lid on but obviously I could just take the lid off and I thought that's exactly what I need and I've been to two now and I can't find them so if you know anywhere that's doing like wooden crates please let me know in the comments below because I really want to get them a wooden crate that we can use every year but I did get some really cute bits and pieces and I got some bits for Easter so if you want to see what I picked up please keep watching Okay, first of all, I've got the bag here, but there's a few bits not in the bag. So I saw this tin here, which is food for the birds. So it's just like a sealed metal tin and you get a little scoop. And I did pick up some more bird seeds. So I'm gonna start filling up my table. I did have like a winter seed mix on there, but um, I've run out of that now. So I thought I would transition this because I'm hoping that the weather starts to change. So I'm gonna pop that in there and then at least it's all sealed and nice and secure. And the scoop will be super helpful actually for when I scoop it out into the tray. And then I also picked up this Spider-Man bin for Ollie. Um, I don't really know what to say about it to be honest. It doesn't really go with his bedroom theme. But he is absolutely obsessed with Spider-Man at the moment. And it was £1.99. So I just thought if it would encourage him to put stuff in the bin instead of just leaving it all over his floor. We'll give it a go. So yeah, he's super happy with that. And they did have some really cute Spider-Man um, decor pieces in there. So if you're going with like a theme or whatever, your kids are obsessed with Spider-Man, then check out Home Bargains. Okay, I'm going into the bag now. So Easter-wise, I picked up two of the packs of craft grass. Oh, this one's opened. Let me hold it so it doesn't go everywhere. So this is what I want to put in the crates. Um, this was 89p, so obviously I've got one for each of them. And then obviously I just wanna pop like their eggs and their little bits that I'm getting them for Easter. I'm gonna do a separate um, Easter basket video when I manage to get my hands on these Easter baskets because I have been collecting bits along the way. I'll link my last year's one here if you want to have a look at that for ideas, but I'm hoping to get one up for this year because I know it's, it's nice to watch other people's, isn't it, and get ideas from it. What else have we got? So I also saw these hot chocolate Easter eggs. So basically you just pop them um, into like warm milk and watch them melt. So I got one for each of them. Now I know Darcy is going to be really obsessed with it. I'm not quite sure how Ollie's going to feel. These are 149. Um, the egg is hollow. So I mean it's kind of going to make like a, a hot chocolate. So it says on the back, hollow milk drinking chocolate decorated figure filled with chocolate chips and marshmallows marshmallows oh yes it's got filling inside so well, that was really cute so i want to pop them in their baskets and then i did also get these really cute cookie pops so last year i got the one marshmallow one but they weren't very keen on it but they love cookies so i picked these up so these were 79p and they also had um like a little bunny but i really loved the chick so i got them one each of those and I think that's it for Easter. Yeah, we're just moving on to my bits now. So I saw I had to pick this up. I've got minkies, but I mean, how cute is this? I don't even think I'm gonna use it just cause it's too cute to use, but I had to pick that up. Little mummy minky and baby minky. So cute. I think this was £2.49, you know. I think it's the same price as a normal minky, but yeah, you can never have too many minkies, but I'm gonna do my best to keep this one nice and fresh um i also picked up a another pack of data wipes just to keep on hand try not to use them very much but there are going to be the odd things that i do need to use them for and i just want to make sure i've got them on hand so i picked up this scent which i always use to use but i haven't been able to get them obviously with everything that's been going on um anti back wipes have been a bit of a nightmare to get hold of so this is the pomegranate and lime splash scent and then I got a triple pack of rain blocks for the loo. These were 149, which I thought was a real bargain because I was paying a pound just for one. 
So I got a triple pack. And then what else did we buy? I needed some more cowpole for Ollie. Just because we used the last bit the other night. And I just like to make sure I've always got it in the house. So I picked that up. And then I did also see... We don't need this, but I was looking for it um, a few weeks ago when he was poorly. So I always used to have the Vapor plug-in, um, which just sits in the wall, and then you pop the little pads in there, and it just fills the room with, um, like, a lavender and chamomile scent just to help decongest if you're all blocked up and things like that. And I cannot, for the life of me, find the plug, but I have got some refills. So I just picked up another one, and this is kind of like a little starter kit so it comes with the plug and three refill pads and this was 4 99 so let me make sure i keep that safe and then ronnie needed some more dental tubes so i picked him up these ones i've actually i was buying him the large dog ones but when i looked at the weight he actually is the medium dog one so these were 2 99 they're slightly cheaper than the ones for large dogs so yeah 2 99 and you get 15 sticks in there so that'll last them a couple of weeks and then the kids have gone back onto their love of pop tarts <laughs> so they just didn't have them for if you watched any of my other hauls last year you'll know that i had to buy these every time i went in and then they just stopped eating them for a while but they've gone back onto the pop tart height so another pack of those to keep in the cupboard and then i picked up a bottle of ribena because this was super expensive when I went into Morrison's and it was only $1.99 and this is the large bottle and I made sure to get the sugar free. We do try and give them water but every now and again they will want a splash of juice with their water so it's for that. Another pack of pack lunch goodies. You know me, every time I go home bargains I have to stock up and these were on offer for $1.49. We got another pack of wagon wheels. I forgot how much I actually love wagon wheels. Darcy loves them so she asked me to get them. And I got one out of the drawer in the week and I was like, oh, I love wagon wheels. I remember having these all the time when I was in secondary school. I would always take it for like my my afternoon snack um, just to get me through the afternoon. So yeah, got, got a pack of those. And then last two bits are some dark soft brown sugar. Darcy's going to be making, I don't even know what, some blondies, I think. She's seen a recipe she wants to try, so we needed some of this. And then I did pick up another pack of the Milka um, biscuits. Now, I got these when I went to B&M last and they were 49p, but they were 99p in Home Bargain. So I don't know whether they went through the till wrong when I went to B&M, um, but Darcy said she loved them. So I did just pick them up. So next time I go on b and I'm just going to double check the price of these ones. So that's going to be it for my home bargains haul today. It wasn't a huge one. I only popped in to get some essentials. But as I said, I'm mainly hunting for bits and pieces for their Easter baskets. Now, I do actually have some craft stuff left over from last Easter. And a lot of my Easter decor that I picked up, I've noticed that home bargains are still selling the same range. So if you are in need of any decor pieces, check out home bargains. They've got some lovely like um, plaques, round plaques that say Happy Easter. And they've got some lovely wreaths and garlands things like that and bunting um i've got craft stuff for them i've picked them up a couple of books but i just want to get the crates so as i said at the start if you know of anywhere where i can get my hands on these crates please let me know in the comments below because other than that i'm gonna i'm struggling really and i want to get this all sorted so i can get a video up for you but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you on my next video bye everyone